Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Chainsaw Man Episode 6. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123, and let's go ahead and start. <laughs> Why does she have to do the double peace signs, though? <laughs> though they are stuck on one floor. Normal hotel room looking room. Might as well to sleep in the beds. And there's no food. Okay, well, that answers that question. The throbbing bullet. I guess, like, I guess she kind of realizes the the actual uh, ramifications of being stuck there and the actual situation. All I mean, I guess all the bad things, but everybody else is kind of thinking of it and trying to think like rationally, and then some are not even really caring that much. But yeah, she's. Thinking of all the negatives, for sure. God damn. Pretty drastic of choices. <laughs> she won't be able to take that seriously. Oh. Like time stopped or something. Yeah, that could completely uh, make it so there, there's no way they could get saved anyway because time stopped, so they're stuck there regardless. Uh, but I want to go back to what, um, like, Kobani's reaction there. Uh, yell at me if i mispronounce that but um i i, I feel like sh her representation or her reaction to this is a representation more so of how any normal person would react in a situation like that i think uh, you know you saw power's reaction but she's power so <laughs> I, I i think most people would i, I probably would be kind of sad <laughs> if i was in that spot yeah <laughs> And then Denji's Denji. He could literally sleep through this. This type of situation. But he did sleep in a shed. Well, there's at least that. That's what I was talking about earlier, the food. I, have to, I thought there was no food, but... Oh, God! <laughs> Toilet water. I mean, it's water. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, if you're on your last cigarette, then no more nicotine. Uh, that's not a good thing. She gave him his habit. <laughs> oh, oh. 
公安だけが重野郎の肉片持つこと許されてるもんね死ぬのは面倒だからさ Probably somebody, yep, somebody related to the partner or one of the partners. Oh, is Aki going to go talk to the lady? There you go. That'll teach her. <laughs> so that's a requirement, Devil Hunters, <laughs> having a screw loose. No, it only starts for it also always starts with one. Don't smoke, kids. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> they bonded with smoking. So it's got on the all Ah, what the fuck? Okay. Something I've learned from a lot of shows, you never take you never take offers like this or contracts like this ever. That's fucked up. Cuz at least one person might do it. Oh god. Oh god. You know what's really funny in the ending from last episode? I saw like when it was showing her a little bit, there was a knife floating. I saw a knife floating. I was like, what is that knife in my head? What, that what does that knife represent? I, I These endings might like tell things. I feel like the endings actually like tell stuff. I guess you have to keep her knocked out. Ooh, can he not? He can't summon him there. Ooh. Maybe Denji could do some damage too? Okay, so doing anything to it's not gonna matter. Oh, wow. See, usually Denji actually thought like, like you would in a normal and like some normal animes where it's like, oh, they said they were like, they said they were going to do it. That means they won't actually do it. But they actually, I love that. They actually have to go with the contract. They say contract. That, that actually cement, that makes these offers actually real, meaning the people around them could could actually give up Denji and it gives them, it gives it credit. It gives something, saying something like that credit. Wow. Even if you get out of here, uh, how do you talk to these people if you give up Denji or uh, even ask it? Jesus! God damn it, power! <laughs> yeah, power would probably try to kill you while wrestling. But you could probably touch more boobs! Sword. Oh. So there's some type of sacrifice to using that sword, I'm guessing. There has to be. Or she would let him. Maybe it kills him or something, or maybe not as drastic. Oh no. 
She is very unstable. Somebody knock her out again. Oh, God. It feels like the fear and the screaming and stuff is actually making this devil way stronger. It looked like they were like multiplying and stuff while that's happening. Ooh, I was right. You gotta not be scared of them. And maybe they'll get weaker. Eternity devil. Oh God. And there's the mouth and stomach. She doesn't want to lose another partner. Has to be. It has to do with that. Oh, oh. Oh. So it ages Aki if he uses it. Oh, God. Oh. Did it hit Aki? Holy shit. Well, now you done. You done fucked up. He needs his help. Ah, oh, she's gonna try. They got a heart. While you hold the bloody knife? Ah, hi, hi. That's still all he's thinking about. He sees Denji as the threat. That's actually really smart. Denji just used common reasoning and, and thought this through. Oh, shit. End of episode, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, I fucking knew it. I knew it. I, that's why I was like, I didn't want to get too excited. I'm like, they're, the fight's about to happen. Yes. And, and then I thought, oh, I looked at the time. I'm like, oh, it's it's been like 24 minutes. Or so, yeah, I, I knew. But to go back to the episode, there was a lot that happened there. There was a lot of, di this was very dialogue heavy. Um, so I, I will tell, if you guys are new to my reactions, this is like the first show you've seen me react to. I tend to pause when episodes are, I, I pause a decent amount when they're, when it's dialogue heavy. Um, and I'm, or like, there's a lot of new information kind of coming. It, it's, it matter. it really matters the episode, but this one, in particular, there, there was just a lot going on and it kind of needed needed a pause. Because if not, I, I'm not, the t I, when I have the information in my head, I, I like to say it when I'm thinking it, more so than uh, waiting till the end, which I, I know some people like. Uh, some people, though, represented by watch time, I would say they don't. Uh, I, I prefer putting it when it comes to, uh, I, I prefer it in the reaction because it's, when it's happening i can talk about what's happening when it's happening and i thought this episode i mean we saw like every character kind of react to this situation differently one was kind of the nor i think somebody that wants to survive a, a normal per like kind of a normal person newbie thrown into this uh mix react we had one person reacting like that you know maybe to an extreme the knife stabbing all that stuff and just but that would be a lot of people freaking out um then we had like power who i don't think anyone would have acted like just did, and denji not really care like not that he didn't care but he was just sleeping and caring about the small things but what he said at the end i thought really represented how he was actually kind of thinking about the situation uh, him knowing that like he was paying attention to how this devil reacted and did stuff this tells this shows me Denji is a lot smarter than he lets off. 
and that like he actually does have other stuff in his mind uh he him realizing that he is the threat obviously they they're not trying they could just kill why don't they just kill denji themselves but they don't and it's because they're scared of denji and I, this is why i said earlier the chainsaw like why don't you pull out the chain uh the chainsaws do something but i guess there at the time there was nothing really to attack but now that the stomach is opened and you have the actual it's like they're exposed when they were getting ready to uh, eat denji they're like exposed to attack so if denji just throws himself like he is there and then attacks but you would think the devil would think like this but maybe the devil's not that smart they would think oh possibly that's a, that that's a possibility of happening the other thing i really liked in this episode which is so unique contracts actually matter it like when you say like a bad guy a bad guy says something like uh says something like uh, in general and a bad guy actually says hey um you know i i'll do this for you if you do this and it actually matters and that means they actually have to with death uh, with the promise of death that they don't that that actually locks up these things where people could betray you because you know they have to follow that so if you take the contract there's no thought like oh they're just gonna just like it said in the episode like oh they could just not do it at, uh, at all and then just kill us anyway that's what De you know denji was thinking like a nor like a normal person like they're just gonna they're just gonna kill me and then kill you guys anyway but they're locked into this contract which actually validates killing denji for some people as we saw like, two of them like broke and said okay we'll do it then uh i i really liked that dynamic and actually having that that concept in there that was awesome um but anyway thank you for watching if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over my patreon patreon.com slash aj rich one two three and all my social links are down below go follow on twitter uh go check me out on all that stuff thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye